American scientists on the verge of an energy breakthrough. Today in California, scientists officially dedicate the world's most powerful laser, and some believe that could be the biggest step forward in the pursuit for clean energy. Claudia Cowan is live at one of the coolest places in North America. That's the Lawrence Livermore National Lab in California, just east of the Bay Area in San Francisco. Claudia, good morning. Good morning, Bill. That's right. Uh, we're dedicating the new National Ignition Facility here this morning. Uh, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, Senator Dianne Feinstein, other dignitaries expected to arrive in just a couple of hours to help dedicate what will be the world's biggest laser and a brand new lab that intends to create nuclear fusion, the same kind of energy that powers the sun. So we have this big ball, right, and we hold our little targets inside of it and the light focuses on there and what that's where the, all the action happens the action involves triggering a miniature nuclear explosion inside this target chamber sparked by 192 lasers that bounce off a series of lenses and mirrors intensifying and multiplying with each pass eventually turning ultraviolet the beams push a million miles an hour toward a tiny ball of frozen hydrogen gas pretty soon you have a lot of them and we have enough energy to drive our targets to a point where they get to over a hundred million degrees. It's a pretty warm day. The impact should result in a burst of energy so powerful that for a single moment it could light up the country. Nuclear fusion has never been achieved on Earth, and critics argue the facility's three billion dollar price tag is a waste of taxpayer money. But researchers here are confident the effort will be well worth it. It would change how we looked at you know, global warming. It would change pollution. It would change all of those things. This is an, a small investment for that great payback. And this facility will also help safeguard the nation's nuclear weapons stockpile. But fusion is the main goal with serious ignition experiments due to begin next year. And Bill, if it works, creating sustainable nuclear fusion could be the game changer for meeting the world's energy needs. Uh, capture, harness the energy of the sun. We're set for life. Thank you, Claudia. Claudia Cowan's live yep. there in Livermore, California. Now, President Obama is moments